a tsunami of evictions is coming. You can't expect people to not work and still pay their bills. If the state is making it so people can't work, they should help them. People don't realize landlords are like, we want our money or you have to leave. Along with roughly 28 million people across the country, people are facing homelessness. As states lift temporary eviction moratoriums put in place to protect people who fell behind on rent. At the same time, 30 million unemployed workers will lose their $600 a week. Landlords are filing eviction orders with courts, leading some jurisdictions to hold eviction proceedings over Zoom or at large convention centers. The country is on the cusp of a tsunami of eviction. Acerbate already high homeless rates in states such as Colorado. We see more and more people turning to us for help. We will likely see more people unable to pay rent and end up being evicted and turning to the streets. homeless population in Denver alone is expected to increase by 30 percent from roughly 6,000 people who were reported homeless in January. Homelessness could increase nationally by between 40 to 45 percent this year. We were in a housing crisis already and had a shortage of 7 million homes to low income renters. The longer the crisis, the deeper in the hole they fall. There is nowhere to go. can't expect people to not work and still pay their bills. All we can try to do is work out a repayment plan with a landlord if there is no other defenses. It's not easy so a lot of our folks do end up homeless. Renters facing eviction are scrambling. Legislatures in Washington, D.C. are stalling. Passing legislation and doling out funding that could provide some relief. About 40% of renters live in a home backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac.